This Canadian pastor, now you would think, now I've told that story about how it was the Ricada's pastor yes, who first rang the bell that something was up and that they named uh, all of us. That, well, you know, we that, had this, this really, yeah. they had an unnatural relationship with the Imholtz. Yes. Is what they said in the search warrant. And uh, that pastor had read certain Bible verses that I thought he was basically staring right at us while he was reading them, because it was about drunkenness, orgies, uh, you know, sexual promiscuity. And I'm like, all right, I get it. <laughs> and when I would bring it up to everyone involved in our group, uh -huh. I would get, you don't understand, man. Oh, it, they, they just don't understand. It's the, our love. God would approve of our love. And I'm like, I'm look, I'm not a God guy. So you don't have to bullshit me yeah. and sell me on the God thing. I'll still f your wife. But <laughs> can we just like all I wanted was an admission. Right. Yeah. Then like this is unholy, guys. Like I would always use that term. I go, unholy is unholy. Like we're doing it. It's fine. Whatever. Yeah. We keep pumping away. We're doing but, it. It's fun. Let's also admit it's kind of let's up. admit it. Let's admit that us being in a church is an affront to Christ. <laughs> Let's let's admit, yeah that part that one is something man the fact that's that all of you went to church together that is disrespectful you brought the kids oh we sure did we sure and then did. you went back home and did each other allegedly see like when you put it that way it sounds <laughs> up because it is okay all right see I I didn't think about it that way. Uh, but I did. So I did think about yeah. it that way. And they would both like, and uh, sweet Kayla, she would be like, well, maybe God would understand because, you know, we love each other and we're trying to do something, you know, that enhances love. And I'm like, oh, sweetheart, I want it. You're, you're so sweet. And I, I do want to believe she you. She was just happy to feel emotion again. I, I don't know. I just, I don't like, know. And she did, like, just before they got arrested, like the Monday before they got arrested, she did send me a text saying, yeah. everyone here is low. This has destroyed everyone. It's been a disaster. She said, you were right. This has destroyed us all. And um, she said, I guess society is right sometimes, was the text she sent me. I can say from experience, whether you can or not, I can say from experience, it's destructive. The polygamy Monogamy? thing, it, no, the uh. polygamy thing is this. I'll let you know when I figure it out. Uh -huh. <laughs> so far, both of them, I've went, I'll take that. But, uh, yeah, I, I can't tell you that uh, polygamy is a good way to go. First of all, you're a sociopath if you don't start sticking it in someone regularly and you don't develop some kind of feelings. Right. And you're also uh, lying to yourself. If you're saying that being with other people doesn't create some forms of resentment from some people towards others. There That's was a, a night we were coming home from the bar uh -huh. and Kayla and I thought that we were going upstairs. Yep. And they were going the other two were going to go downstairs. Uh-huh. And that's the night. Yeah. Well, Nick was texting Kayla in the back seat and saying, what do you want to do? And Kayla was embarrassed. She didn't want to say, I want to go upstairs. Aaron and I were going to go upstairs. Uh-huh. And like Nick was like pressuring her to say it. Like he wanted her to say it. He yeah. knew what she wanted yeah. to do. He knew what the plan was. Again, he this wanted is where her the to more say work it. Comes now, in. Here, wait, now, wait a minute. So then we get back to our house. They're out in the driveway screaming at each other oh. over this. Uh -huh. April and I Your go. Your neighbors are loving it. Uh, great. Great <laughs> look. Great look. The look is great. I looked out there. I said, this is a great look. <laughs> so finally, we get them back in the house. Yep. He's screaming at her again, and then she tells him that she faked it every time, which I'm sure isn't true, but she's just trying to piss him off. And then he starts hitting himself in oh, the God. head, and then he's cornering her in the bathroom. And the, the, I got to do a fucking show in the morning, and I no, no nobody got. <laughs> I didn't get laid. He didn't get laid, obviously. Uh, address mm. Kiki when she went in Win by Two's podcast, addressing her doing every blue moon. And saying everyone does it. Really? Wow. That's why she, okay, that, okay. See, that I had a theory uh -huh. that she didn't really care about any of the bad stuff that her friend April had done. Right. She just wanted to keep me on the line so she could maybe be able to talk to April eventually. Yep. And if April did f***ing a pound of blow right in front of her, her friend Keanu would not give a f 
mm -hmm. and would just be like, ooh, I'm glad a girl from the internet is talking to me and wants to be my friend. <laughs> Which is fine, but leave me the f out of it. You know? Leave me the f out of it. Because you know what? There's where Keanu and I differ. The use was a problem for me. I didn't like it. I don't think it was healthy. I, I, it was bad for everyone involved, especially bad for children. And so if you're fine with that, I mean, that kind of shows a little bit about your soul that I, that I didn't know about. That's kind of gross. It was fun. I, I do. It was, it is kind of nice to watch the last people who tried to shove a knife in your back, just totally watch their comeuppance. Yeah. Like just kind of totally watch it go nowhere. That's kind of nice. But, uh, sucks. Says, would you have believed me six months ago if I told you that your two best internet friends would now be Kevin Brennan and Chad Zuma? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard Chad was uh, not necessarily getting my back, but Chad was like, yeah, what Keanu did was f shitty. It's like, yeah. it's dishonest. You f could have been a phone call. Dude, the day before they were telling the shit they were texting you back, and then that yeah. day they show up and do that. That's Trash. And people see that. Like, they don't like me. Like, the people who are saying that it was a shitty move, they don't like me. But they just, they, look, they're just calling out what they see, and they see yeah. a dog shit, horse shit move. Yeah. And Both uh, things Chad can was be one true. Of people can not like you and think they were yeah. for doing what they did. Chad doesn't like me. Nah. But Chad thought that was a shitty deal. Uh, and as far as Kevin Brennan, I've never had a problem with Kevin Brennan. Uh, Kevin's always been really cool to me. So... There's, again, no issue uh, with Kevin Brennan. MSO says, no, Kiki stabbing you, Matt, is fine. <laughs> yeah, she's, uh, well, she's got to keep that, uh, you know, got to see uh, if you can use that old steel toe name for clout. It, yeah. it is telling to hear her say, I don't really give a shit. I do every once in a while and this and that. It's like, oh, <laughs> oh that says a well, lot. Well, see, you know what? It does, uh, it's not a harmless drug. It does. Is it in a house full of children as well? It does. Yeah, they really changed their tune on that drugs <laughs> yeah. children thing. They sure because they never cared in the first place. No, not they one bit. They didn't have any scruples about that to begin with. No, it it's was, fine because the kids are in the other room. They just wanted April to call her. And whatever, like, they are kind of the classic enablers, like the example of enablers. Like, as long as they call and they hear her voice, they'll believe anything. Yeah. And it's like, well, it's not really helping anybody now, is it? But, oh, well. You know, like I said, doesn't cost me anything to wish everybody well. Don't get too specific on the no, rhetoric question no, is what I'm bit. saying. Becky G with five bucks says, I am not saying I like you. Uh, wow. <laughs> I like that All honesty. Right. I like that honesty, actually. <laughs> I'm not saying I like you, LOL, but Keanu threw me for a loop with her shit. I was grossed and appalled. It is, huh. uh, you know, a lot of people have been saying that. Like, you look at, like, Zumok and Melton and all these other people who genuinely don't like yeah. me. And they're even saying, like, mm, this is a shitty move. I'm going to push myself but, away but, from but Becky, this Becky, you are here watching. Like him or not. Yeah, you don't have to like it. And as a matter of fact, you're probably right. Yeah, I got, get, you uh -huh. know, look at me. I got about a year, you know? <laughs> don't worry about it. Everybody no. in the world sees what this is from, from her. Yeah. It, just let it be that. Yep. I mean, it's, it's desperate, whatever. Don't, mm. guys, just, I, it, like, like I said, when people who hate you keep stepping in shit, don't stop them. No, no. Let them keep stepping in just shit. Stand back. It's, watch it happen. It's great. Was it Sun Tzu who said, when your enemy is making mistakes, don't don't stop them? Uh, Bone CK with five bucks says, does your group know you mentioned the program on a show you ask money for? Uh, whether or not I mention I go to that program or not doesn't have anything to do with me, yeah. what I do for a living. They've, you they've, already, they've already said, like, you can say God, where you go. You guys are really bad at this. No, no offense, Bone CK. Thank you for the five bucks. I appreciate it. But you do know that you're allowed to have a job and still go to these things. You know what? I have a feeling whatever I'm telling him right no. now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He ain't getting it. Yeah. I don't think he's getting it. BJ with 10 bucks says the woman who's named after the fourth month also took the high road. Then the ketamine kick. See, now that's. Uh, 199 from Rick. He says, for $100, show us how you headbutt April on Matt. <laughs> if I would have headbutted April, I would show you. But I'm sorry, sir. That was a third-party accusation from something two years ago and is complete horseshit. I know you want it to be true really, really bad, but I'm sorry. I can't help you. The hate for me runs deep. I get it. She's a pastor. Uh, okay. 
who supports polygamy. Oh. I got some ooh. people she should meet. You do? Yeah. I mean, my days are done. I mean, I'm re- I retired. Are you sure, though, day. with the right guidance from a, a pastor? Like, like maybe, you maybe know, it would work out, Aaron. My, my days in polygamy, I think, are done. I, I had a hell of a run. I, I uh-huh. had some, uh, some crazy <clears throat> experiences. Um, I learned that trying to deal with people who are loaded on 